In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on November 21, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Detroit Pistons vs. Charlotte Hornets Eastern Conference teams continue jockeying for position as we head into an intriguing Thursday night matchup between the Detroit Pistons and the Charlotte Hornets. These two squads last faced off on November 6th, where the Hornets edged out a narrow one-point victory on their home court. The Pistons enter this game following a disappointing 122-112 home loss to the Chicago Bulls on Monday, where they fell short despite being four-and-a-half point favorites. Meanwhile, the Hornets are coming off a heart-wrenching 116-115 road loss to the Brooklyn Nets in Tuesday's NBA Cup action, though they managed to cover the spread as one-and-a-half point underdogs. The Detroit Pistons have been showing signs of improvement recently, winning three of their last five games overall. However, they aim to recover from their recent setback against Chicago, which snapped a two-game winning streak. In that game, the Pistons struggled offensively, shooting only 42% from the field and a dismal 1-5 of 4-4 from beyond the arc. Their defense also faltered, as the Bulls drained 2-3 of 4-6 three-pointers, leaving Detroit chasing a 13-point deficit by the end of the first quarter. Following this matchup with Charlotte, the Pistons are set to face the Orlando Magic and Toronto Raptors, looking to build momentum. On the other side, the Charlotte Hornets find themselves in a slump, losing four of their last five games. They'll be eager to break a two-game losing streak after a narrow one-point defeat to the Nets. The Hornets had an impressive offensive showing in that contest, shooting 40 6% from the field and an outstanding 2-0 of 3-7 from 3-point range. However, their defensive lapses allowed the Nets to erase a 17-point first-quarter deficit, and Charlotte faltered in crunch time. The Hornets' inability to execute late has become a recurring issue, making it tough for them to secure wins despite flashes of offensive brilliance. Detroit continues to deal with injury woes, as rookie Osar Thompson is listed as doubtful. On the flip side, Charlotte enjoys a clean bill of health, with no players on their injury report. The Hornets have experimented with a small ball lineup, similar to the Oklahoma City Thunder's approach when Chet Holmgren was sidelined. However, Charlotte lacks the depth and talent of Oklahoma City. Players like Grant Williams and Miles Bridges bring toughness but are undersized for their positions, standing at 6'6 and 6'7 respectively. Brandon Miller provides height but tends to play on the perimeter and struggles to make an impact on the boards, averaging just 4.1 rebounds per game despite his size and athleticism. Charlotte's reliance on three-point shooting is evident. They rank second in attempts but only 14th in percentage. Their inconsistent shooting A often spells trouble, as evidenced by their three losses in the last four games. The Pistons, on the other hand, are showing steady improvement compared to last season, with veterans embracing their roles and Kate Cunningham leading the charge. Cunningham's ability to stuff the stat sheet makes him a nightly triple-double threat, and his size as a guard could disrupt Lamilo Ball's rhythm, especially from long range. With Detroit playing competitive basketball and Charlotte struggling defensively, this pick'em game presents a favorable spot for the Pistons. Notably, Detroit boasts a 9-6-1 record against the spread this season, including 7-3-1 as an underdog. The Pistons narrowly lost to the Hornets in their last meeting, so the Detroit Pistons to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Offense might not be the highlight of this matchup, as both teams rank among the league's top underperformers. Detroit leads the NBA with an 11-5 record hitting the under, while Charlotte follows closely at 9-5. Neither team plays at a particularly fast pace, with the Pistons ranking 19th in possessions per game and the Hornets at 14th. Detroit's deliberate style of play, centered on isolation sets led by Cunningham, mirrors Luka Doncic's approach and contributes to lower scoring contests. Meanwhile, Charlotte's reliance on three-point shooting makes them vulnerable during cold stretches, as they lack consistent inside scoring threats. 
Players like Bridges and Williams are more reliant on cuts and dump passes than creating their own opportunities in the post. Charlotte's offensive inconsistency was on full display in a recent 89-point effort against the Magic, highlighting their struggles when shots aren't falling. Conversely, Detroit has embraced a slower, more methodical approach in recent games, with three consecutive contests going under the total. The Pistons are likely to dictate the pace again, focusing on quality possessions over volume. Given these factors, under the projected total, is our full game total pick. Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Toronto Raptors It's an interconference showdown on the hardwood as two teams square off north of the border, each aiming to secure a victory. The Minnesota Timberwolves hit the road to face the Toronto Raptors on Thursday night. Minnesota enters the game riding high after a narrow 120-117 victory at home against the Phoenix Suns on Sunday night, although they failed to cover the 7.5 point spread as favorites. Meanwhile, the Raptors return to the win column by defeating the Indiana Pacers 130-100 19 on Monday night, pulling off an upset as three and a half point underdogs. Historically, Toronto has dominated the regular season series, leading 38 to 19, but Minnesota has claimed victory in the last two meetings. This includes a 112 to 101 triumph at home in their first encounter this season on October 26. The Minnesota Timberwolves are finding their rhythm as they aim to extend their winning streak to three games following Sunday's hard-fought victory over Phoenix. The Timberwolves showcased an efficient offensive performance shooting 52% from the field and connecting on 17 of 39 attempts from beyond the arc. Despite struggling early and falling behind by 10 points at halftime, Minnesota mounted a late-game surge, closing the final 3:59 with a 16-5 run to secure the comeback win. The Timberwolves face a tough stretch ahead, with upcoming matchups against the Celtics, Rockets, Kings, Clippers, and Lakers. On the other hand, the Toronto Raptors are attempting to rebound from a dismal start to their season, where they lost 12 of their first 15 games. However, Monday's 130-119 home victory over the Pacers offered a glimmer of hope. The Raptors came out firing, shooting an impressive 58% from the field and 14 of 29 from three-point range. They scored 69 points in a dominant first half, building a double-digit lead that eventually swelled to 22 points. Toronto will look to maintain this momentum as they prepare for upcoming contests against the Cavaliers and Pistons. In terms of injuries, the Timberwolves could be shorthand with Mike Conley and Don Di Vincenzo both listed as questionable. The Raptors, meanwhile, are monitoring Scotty Barnes and Jacob Walter, who are also questionable for Thursday's game. This marks the second meeting of the season between Minnesota and Toronto, with the Timberwolves winning the first matchup 112-101 at home. Julius Randle and Anthony Edwards led the way in that game, each scoring 24 points. Notably, the Raptors were without R.J. Barrett in that contest. It will be interesting to see if the change in venue influences the outcome, as Minnesota holds a 3-4 record on the road, while Toronto mirrors that with a 3-4 home record. The 2024-2025 season has been a roller coaster for the Timberwolves, a team still adjusting to roster changes after trading Carl Anthony Towns. The additions of Julius Randle and Don Di Vincenzo have brought potential but also growing pains. One bright spot has been Anthony Edwards, who leads the league with 4.8 made three-pointers per game. However, Minnesota's once-dominant defense has slipped. After leading the NBA in defensive rating last season, they've fallen to 12th this year. Their inconsistency has been evident, with losses in three of their last five games and close calls in their two victories over the Kings and an undermanned Suns team. Despite their struggles, the Timberwolves are favored for this matchup, though their recent form leaves room for skepticism. Meanwhile, the Raptors, despite their poor record, have been strong against the spread, boasting a 10-5 against the spread record. Even with their injuries, Toronto's games often come down to the wire, raising questions about what they could achieve at full strength. While Ruddy Gobert and Edwards provide hope for Minnesota's resurgence, their inconsistency on the road makes Toronto an appealing play. So the Toronto Raptors to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Minnesota has seen the total go over in nine of their 14 games this season. However, ball control remains an issue as they rank 23rd in turnovers, averaging 16.2 per game. Their pace of play is moderate, ranking 17th in the league with 98.2 possessions per game. On the other hand, Toronto has hit the over in nine of their 15 games, although they commit 16.5 turnovers per game, ranking 26th in the league. 
The Raptors play slightly faster than Minnesota, ranking 13th in tempo with 99.1 possessions per game. The first meeting between these teams this season saw a combined 213 points. Toronto attempts the fewest three-pointers in the league, converting at a low rate, and will face a solid Timberwolves defense. Both teams rank in the middle of the pack in terms of pace. Additionally, the total has gone under in six of the last nine meetings between these two squads. With these factors in mind, this game is likely to be a low-scoring affair. There Therefore, under the projected total is our full game side pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.